And I'm going to do the last one. The Scorpions. I'm going to do the AG for the Scorpions. And, um, oh, there's someone. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm doing the Scorpions. Now it's the reading for the Scorpions. Let's do the love reading for the Scorpions for the month of March 2019. So we are doing the love readings. Alrighty. And that is the last sign for the night. I want to say thank you to my two listeners. Oh my God, thank you guys. You stayed up all the time with me. You can't do me. I am a late person. And then I go to bed for two hours and I get up and I'm looking fresh and I'm on the go again. So, ooh, so let, ooh, wow, friendship. Okay. Someone out there, some scorpion, if you're looking for a relationship, that definitely is going to be coming. Friendship is going to be the most important thing that is happening. Some of you are going to be in relationship, but um, looking for a relationship, but you're going to be meeting people who just want to have friends. Okay. So that is um, one of those things. Okay. So let's see what's coming up for the scorpion in the four weeks of March. What is just going to be happening? For the scorpion okay you're definitely some of you are going to be meeting a brunette person okay a br brunette <laughs> friendship and this person just wants to be um friends with you okay and um they want to connect with a family oh, and some of you are going to be um missing your family who lives far away okay some of you are going to be definitely missing your family who lives far away okay so let's see what is happening with this young lady what's happening in the first week there is a gift you could be receiving a gift of friendship from this lady um, or some of you could be ending up in a love triangle with this lady okay um, some of you are going to be meeting a very mature woman and she wants to be friends with you um, and some of you who are in a love triangle is within um, you're in a love triangle with a um, Aquarius Gemini or Libra um, true love is coming in from a mature female okay so if you're in the same-sex relationship whether you meet this person really cares about you she's very mature and she cares about you and she just wants to be friends okay the court and man is here I don't know honey channel <laughs> he, he reminds me of this lover boy um, I don't know if you guys know about lover boy but in Holland we have these people that we call lover boy uh, I wouldn't want to explain what they do but he reminds me of a lover boy okay <laughs> okay the jam true jam okay and um, open relationships so some of you are going to be con connected with a very mature woman but she just wants an open relationship she she doesn't want uh, um you know all the fuzzy 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 um your your love relationships or your love reading um, there's a lot of obstacles obstacles that is um, going to be there especially you young female there's a lot of obstacles um, is coming up in your life some of you want to get married but there's a lot of obstacles that are there for you guys okay sorry um, scorpions okay so I'm seeing um, the young brunette they're definitely going to be giving you a gift and an offer young brunettes are going to be giving you a gift and an offer okay definitely now a gift be careful you know um the family um stand true to each other but i'm seeing someone some of you young men are really um dating looking out there want to get out there and find a lot of you young men will be dating looking for your true love because you want to make a family of your own okay 
Um, some of you are going to be getting in some long distance relationship, but these are like open relationship and these are karmatic relationship. So, um, uh, people don't understand the reason why people have open relationship is because they need to clear a lot of commas with other um, soulmate or a soulmate that are coming in. That's why people have open relationship. Okay, some of you are brunette ladies are going to be receiving an offer of love, um, a gift, justice um, is going to be prevailing. So there is going to be. Um, you're going to be receiving a gift so justice will be prevailing some of you ladies are going to be finding out that there is a third party in your relationship if you're married you are going to be finding out that there is a third party in your relationship some of you could be getting married or right, thinking about getting married in the first week okay um, when we look at the friendship, who is coming up to be friends? Um, some of you are going to be um, be in friendship, or there is someone who is an um, the night um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the ages of eighteen and forty five um, wants to be in a friendship with you. He wants to work together with you. He wants to be, um, you know, he really cares about you and he wants to be um, close to you, but a friendship, not love. The mature woman, what is her problem? Um, the mature woman is very psychic and she speaks her truth, okay? So what it's whatever is happening, the mature woman is very psychic and she speaks her truth. So, you know, beware and... If you want to go with this mature woman, she's she's very psychic and she's going to speak her truth. Now, the king, um, some of you um, pretend to be um, as the ice, the ice king, okay? And this is a reason why you do that. But um, you do that for a reason. But when you're partying, you party hard, okay? So you could be. Um, basically pretending as you know I'm so cool and you know I, I don't play around and that sort of a thing but give you some alcohol oh my god as we always say alcohol is the cause because what is happening and what is um, 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 transpiring is this you can feel so and you go and you're walking around, you're looking around, and you're seeing, and you have this hardcore face on, and then you receive some alcohol, and then it's like, I can't stop partying. <laughs> and this is just so good because um, it's just so funny because, you know, you're like, Taking on the, the educated, the profession, the wise man. I know it all. It is, it, you know, it's like it's naturally. Um, and you have this crush. And you're like, no, I'm not really interested in relationship. And you're experiencing life in such a wisdom and then we give you some alcohol and then uh, <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh my god you're so funny okay family okay some of you uh, were married to a Virgo you're going to be realizing that um, your family is about to fall apart because you're partner is seeing someone else okay oh la la some of you are going to be uh okay some of you are going to be really disappointed in someone that you thought was the true person someone played you okay and this person could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius he played the L out of you okay let it go 
now little Casanova little Casanova has been courting so much people have been he has been charming the hell out of a lot of people this mr. Casanova has been charming so much people and he's tired as well <laughs> so he you know the he has been charming so many people he is as tired as whatever is like I can do this no more I'm tired I can't do this no more I, I, I have no more stories or no more so crazy so crazy funny but true and the last energy you guys have it's all about karma it's all about karma there is definitely some judgment call some of you uh, um, it's gonna be finding out something about mr. Casanova whoever mr. Casanova is um, ooh, he has a lot of stories God he can charm the hell he is so funny he can really charm you down to the last thing. Oh, I, the, oh, the cancers have just gone. Check in the timeline for the cancers. I've just finished the cancers. But Mr. Casanova here, as you know, he has charmed everyone. He's so tired. He's he's going back and forth with all these ladies, all these things, and these karmatic situation that is going on. It's just crazy. It's just crazy as things that is going on. So. You know, yeah. Um, uh, some judgment call is definitely going to be coming in, and I'm seeing that a lot of people who are in open relationship, um, it's a karmatic situation. Judge, don't you know? We can't judge people because some people have to be in um, open relationship because they don't want to hurt the other person, um, because they have to clear up certain karma with other people. Okay, so don't judge. don't judge it's all about karma okay don't judge it's definitely all about karma okay so um, you know if you realize that people are in open relationship it's okay um, you know it's better you're in an open relationship and you said listen this is a situation and uh, um, you know I don't want to hurt you but I I see as my life partner I don't want to hurt you but I want to see other people um, some people do understand that because they have their freedom but you have to find the right person to be in an open relationship and not everyone wants to be in an open relationship because not everyone wants to know that your partner is with someone else um, you know that is a sort of a situation and time and people and places are changing because everything changed with the energy of the planet you know and with the sexual re revolution that is coming going to come back in so it says um, uh, 1969 um, you're gonna be finding that more people wants to have open relationship because you know they respect their partners but they don't want to lose their partners so they're gonna be having these open relationship and it can it, you know it can happen it depends on who you are as a person okay so I love you cancers I want to wish you a really really positive month um, whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening I am hoping and I'm wishing you guys a very very positive month and I want to say to you guys you know be kind to yourself and I'm off I'm gonna eat my chicken nuggets <laughs> I love chicken nuggets so I'm gonna be eating my chicken nuggets and I'm wishing you a wonderful month of March. Namaste.